right, Chris, looking at the Pittsburgh Panthers this year, I'll go ahead and start us off. You know, talking about their offense here, I mean, look, Pittsburgh has definitely taken steps back. You know, they're still trying to pick up the pieces after losing Mark Whipple and Kenny Pickett, right? I mean, that's that's a huge piece of the pu- uh, puzzle for them, right? They finished ranked 114th in total uh, offense this year. I think the biggest issue uh, for me, right, was the run game. That took a huge step back. They finished 120th in rushing, you know, this year. Uh, Phil Dracovic was supposed to be the savior of the program, right? But the hometown hero, I mean, he was benched after five games. And the young gun, Christian Velo, I mean, he looks to be the future of that program there, right? But again, the offensive line, I mean, they were so banged up all year. They had to trot out 12 different combinations, which made it pretty tough to find consistency there for them. Um, uh, yeah, very, very tough there, Chris. I mean, a lot of low points, a lot of uh, not very many high points in this season. Uh, I'll kick it over to you. Talk to me a little bit about their defense. Yeah. Uh, did this pit? I don't know what the hell happened to Pitt. You know what I mean? They did give up 27.3 points per game when I mean, you just touched on their offense and how bad it was. Uh, the defense wasn't much better. You know, Pitt this year won three games. Wofford, yeah. Boston College, and somehow beat Louisville. I think that's one of the biggest surprise upsets of the year when you look at the schedule and who won and who lost. I don't know how Pitt ever won that game and actually wasn't particularly close. Um, defensively, though, like I said, um, you know, because the offense was so bad, kind of like Nebraska, they're out on the field the entire, the entire game. Um, they did hold FSU to 24 points, Louisville to 21, which was amazing um, against two really good teams. But I don't know what the hell happened the entirety of the rest of the year, right? Um, Giving up, what, 58 to Notre Dame, 41 to North Carolina, 30 to a bad Duke offense. Um, Just just was – it was terrible. They didn't get pressure on the quarterback, uh, didn't win the turnover battle ever all year long almost. I mean, Pitt was really disappointing in my opinion this year, you know. A lot of drama on that team also with Pat Narduzzi calling out some of his players via Twitter and a bunch of people responding back. We remember that at the end of the year there. Uh, just a, a, a bad season. You said it best to start this off. You said they're trying to pick up the pieces from a couple of years ago. Um, I don't know what happens you know, going forward, but this was the 2023 season for Pittsburgh, three and nine. Vegas had them at seven wins this year. I know I did. Uh, pretty disappointing. So my overall grade for Pitt this year, um, I give them an F, Christian. Uh, reason why, a team that easily should have been bowl bound this year, especially in the ACC, only won three games. Yeah, I agree with you, Chris. I mean, I'm going to give him an F, too. Part of what goes into my grading for the season is how long has the coach been there? Pat Narduzzi has been there long enough and has enjoyed enough success, especially, you know, he's a great coach, Chris. I mean, and and hell, last year they went 9-4, and so a 3-9 and season this year, I mean, that's just not going to cut it. You know, you have a bad reloading year, uh, even in the ACC, you should still make it to a bowl game, right? And and this is, I mean, Pitt fans, they're a little fired up. You do this again next year, uh, maybe some maybe some rumblings about change are going to start to come in. 